Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove duplicates from an Excel spreadsheet. So let's open up this folder. Inside this folder, I've got this sample data. And we open up this spreadsheet. It's just made up data. I've just put some random information in here just to illustrate how to remove duplicates. I'm going to show you some other useful tips as well. So if we look at this data, we've got date, name, location, email, and telephone number. And we also have 37 rows of data, 36 actual rows of data, and the first one is the headers, right? And what we want to do first of all is remove duplicates. So let's ju we can easily see that there are some duplicates in here. So we look at this row, James Smith, London. We can also see that duplicate here, James Smith, London, right? So I've copied some data, but not everything is duplicate. Imagine if you've got like two, three, four thousand records of data, you don't want to be sitting there trying to work out what duplicates is just going to take you forever. So we can use Excel to help us do this. Now, if you think about it logically, you can't deduplicate the date. Two customers may have placed an order, for example, if this was an order spreadsheet, they may have placed an order on the same date. So you can't duplicate, deduplicate by date, and you can't really deduplicate by name because two people can have the same name. And it can also be in the same location. So two people like James Smith and uh, Jeff Goff here, they can both be in the same location. So you can't dedupe by location and you can't dedupe by telephone number either because two people may share the same house phone number, for example, if they live in the same house, as an example. So the, really the, the unique element in here is going to be the email address. It's highly unlikely two different people share the same email address. They have unique emails, right? So if we click on column D here, and we want to deduplicate by column D. So normally I click on column D, then I go to data and go to the uh, remove duplicates here. When I click on that, Excel will pop up a little message saying remove duplicates warning. Microsoft Excel found data next to your selection. So there's data on the left hand side and on the right hand side. Because you have not selected this data, it will not be removed. So what do you want to do? I want to expand the selection, expand the selection and we'll click remove duplicates. So now it's selected all of the information going down and you can see that here. Now it's saying to delete duplicate values, select one or more columns that contain duplicates. So what we want to do is untick all of these except for email address. And we're going to click OK. And now it says 22 duplicate values found and removed and 14 unique, uh, 14 unique values remaining. Now we have all of the data that is unique in this spreadsheet. All of the duplicates were removed and we did that via the email address. So I think that's the most logical way to approach it. You can see all the names are unique now, and you can also see uh, all the email addresses are unique. So let's undo that. I'm going to press Control Z, and I'm going to give you a couple of other quick tips. Sometimes you don't actually want to remove the duplicates. You just want to highlight them, actually show them, right? Not necessarily remove them, but actually see where the duplicates are. I normally do that when I've got less data, maybe only two or 300 records, and I'm looking down the data, and I just want to quickly find which ones are duplicates and which ones are not. So the way to do that is um, to highlight the whole spreadsheet. So click here, that will highlight the whole spreadsheet. Go back to the home tab and inside the home tab, go to conditional formatting, highlight, cell rules and go to duplicate values. When you click on that, it says format cells that contain and it says duplicate in here, values with and then what color you want to highlight them. So all of the duplicates will be highlighted one of these colors. So you can select different colors from here you can, you know, you can do custom formatting, but for now we'll leave it light red fill with dark red text. And if we click OK, now all of the duplicates are highlighted. So we can see this particular one is not repeated in this spreadsheet anywhere. Or this one here, or this one here, because they've remained white. Now another nice thing to do is to highlight the ones that are unique. So there's, um, you can leave it red like this. Or you can undo that, you can press Control Z, but you can also go back to conditional formatting. You should really select the whole spreadsheet first. Conditional formatting, highlight cells, and then go to duplicate values. But this time in the drop down, select unique and change the color to green or a different color. Nothing, not the first one, maybe you can change it to yellow if you want or green. And then click OK. Now, obviously, the header is unique but it also highlights all the ones in here that are unique as well. So you can use both logics, right? We can click here to highlight the whole spreadsheet, go back to conditional format and go back to cell rules. Uh, let me see, uh, clear rules, should I say? And then clear, select, clear rules from selected cells and then you're back to your original spreadsheet again. Sometimes you just wanna show unique ones only and the way to do that is click here, go back to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, duplicate values and then select unique only 
unique and then maybe highlight them green or something and click OK. Now you know that anything is white is duplicated, but all of these green ones are actually going to be unique ones, right? And it's actually selected the header as well, but I assume, you know, Excel treats that as a unique uh, piece of information, which is true, uh, but we're focusing on the data below it here. So let's just undo that. Let's click here, go to format, go to clear rules and then click here. And now we're back to our original spreadsheet, which does contain the duplicates. So hopefully that will help you to deduplicate and analyze information inside your spreadsheets. I often use this technique. If I get lots of data in, if I'm checking um, things like my email list and stuff like that, imagine if you've got a long email list and you just want to get rid of any duplicates that people have been subscribing to your newsletter, you quickly want to do that. This is really uh, an efficient way to do that, you could say. So let's click here and close down this spreadsheet. We'll save it and we'll close down this folder. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.